All right. What's going on, everybody? Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book here, man. The time is currently 9.30 at night. The day is the 9th of February. And tonight we have our artist journey update. So if you're new here, once again, my name is Elijah Fatal. I'm an independent music artist. I go by Fatal Book. I do hip hop and R&B. I am actually dropping my first official, official EP tonight called Fates Here that drops at midnight. You guys go find out on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify. I'll leave my Koji link in the description that'll have my contact information, my social media, and the pre-save for Fates Here. Um, so yeah, these artist journey updates are to detail my life as a music artist and my personal life as well, in which I try to spread some knowledge about myself, uh, give more information about myself, and, you know, I like talking to the camera. Um, I live in an apartment by myself, so I like talking to my supporters, um, you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, artist journey update tonight. We have uh, the topic of motivation. So the thing that motivates me um, is, you know, I have, I've never, I've never actually done anything in my life that was worth waking up for um you know as an introvert i've spent my, most of my life uh inside my house i took care of my family most of my life uh played video games and shit until the fateful day of may 25th 2022 that was the day i decided to do music seriously so you know something that motivates me um to do music every single day is the fact that like i said i wasn't i wasn't really doing anything i wasn't really waking up to do anything you know i woke up to go to work um play my video game sometime before i go to work you know and that was it i smoked some weed uh you know have the occasional sex but that was it you know um and as of late i've been uh i've been waking up every day you know doing exercises uh, every day I listen to music marketing videos because now I'm just like, I have to do this. Why did I just decide to do this? I, it's, I get up every single day with the, the knowing of what I'm doing, you know, and it's a long journey. It's been a long eight months so far, but I still, let me fix the camera. I still think that, um, you know, it's been, it's a, it's been a wild ride, but it's been worth it. I've never been motivated to get up and actively get out of my bed before six o'clock in the morning. I used to hate, I don't like using the word hate, but I used to really hate being up at six o'clock in the morning, like despise it with my entire being. And now I'm usually up before six o'clock. The latest I wake up is six o'clock now. Um, and even then I get anxiety about being up all day from six o'clock because I could have been up earlier. Um, another thing that motivates me is just music and in general. You know, I love listening to music. Um, I become an entirely different person when I have music playing around me. Um, I love listening to music. I love singing music. I love rapping music. Of course, we all love music. Like, everybody loves music in some type of way. Even the people that don't listen to music love music for some type of they, People love music. Um, but I feel like an entirely different feeling with music. You know, I feel like, like I've never been able... I used to dance. We all dance as kids, but I actively dance now. I actively perform. I feel good making my own music and listening to others' music because there's a feeling of positivity or negativity that you get with, with music. Um, but I feel it. I just feel it deep in my soul, man. Excuse me. I only burp when I'm at when I'm recording these videos. Um, you know, another thing that motivates me is I actively want to run a business myself, and I actively I actively want to have uh, my hundred thousand dollars a year. Like I said in my previous video talking about goals. Um, you know, I have I have a TV in my apartment that I don't watch that's right in front of me. Um, I wanna show you guys right quick. I'll show you guys right quick. This TV right here has nothing, there's a page missing, but I have pages out of my diary. I have pages out of my diary that um, I am talking about why am I doing this? You know, what's the reason I'm doing this? Uh, who do I feel like I'm going to work with in the future, like artists and producers. I even wrote down about 20 times that I am not a adult media addict. Um, I also wrote down my schedule. That's the page that's missing is my schedule. I have to update it again and put it back on paper. 
Um, so I have my schedule and I also have my uh, things to focus on and things to not focus on. I've never done this before in my life. I've never actively tried to look at myself and say, what do you need to get up and do to make your life better? Um, you know, I see people around me who do music who are getting recognition from my friends uh, for doing music. And, you know, people were, people were, you know, around me doing things that are more than just going to work and going home and going to sleep and then, you know, waking up and doing it all over again. Uh, you know, and even the other night, you know, I would say that my, well, not the other night, but, you know, to, in conjunction with these, my, fam my, my friends, you know, having people that they look up to right next to them, you know, doing music. My family also, my mom, my, my brother and my sister, they motivate me to keep doing music every day. And like I talked to my brother the other night, last night actually, and I felt this sense, uh, sense of, uh, sense of, uh, of love when I, when I talked to him, like I actively, I was kind of tired, but when I actively talked to him, we didn't talk on the phone, but I sent a message from him just to, just to see his name, just to see his name pop up on my phone just gave me so much energy and such a good feeling. It's like, I love my brother. I love my family. Like you guys really motivate me to do better every single day. Um, because I want to give back for my mom. I want to make sure my brother and sister don't have to have children that come into this world that have to struggle. You know, I, I, every single day I wake up thinking about my family and my friends, um, just to show that, you know, you can do this. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, there's limitations on what you can do. But honestly, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. What motivates me the most is being the change for myself. I see everything that I was doing and I was being complacent in my life. And I literally got off my ass and I was like, I can't keep living like this. You know, I can't keep being sad. I mean, I get depressed a lot. I was depressed the other day, you know, but I can't keep just sitting in my depression. I can't keep smoking away my pain. I can't keep playing my Xbox to find a different world to go to. You know, why don't I just make the world that I live in better for myself and for others around me? Um, what motivates me is I really want to be a father to somebody. I want to be a father. I want to be a husband. I want to be somebody that is that can that is able to give and just give nothing but positivity. And um, I want my child because I do want to have another child. Um, for those that may not know me personally, I um I was a teen father. I was a teen father. I had my ex girlfriend pregnant at seventeen. You know, we lost our child together. Um, and, you know, when he passed away, she, or before he passed away, she, uh, no, at, well, after, yeah, after he passed away, she, uh, she made me a poster with him that I'm looking at right now. And, uh, he's a motivation for me as well. Because he came into this world when I was at a very bad point in my life mentally. I was still young. I didn't make the best decisions. Um, I didn't properly prepare to have him in this world. And I didn't treat his mother with the best of respect that I should have, you know? And even though she has her own family now, I, I, I still look at this poster that she made for me every single day. I stare at this poster because she took the pictures of me out of it, but she left me my son. And I don't ever want to bring another child into this world where I can't provide for them and I'm not actively being a good role model for them. I want to go see my son every day at the hospital, you know, and he's a big part in my life because I, I felt, I finally felt like I had something that was mine to take care of, you know, that was mine. Um, and he's been gone and I miss him, but I wake up every day knowing that he's looking at me. I lost my father when I was 15. So I'm the middle, I'm in the middle. I'm the father and I'm the son and I lost both of mine. I don't know how to be a man. I don't know how to be a husband. I don't know how to be a father, you know? I'm not the greatest of brothers. I'm not the greatest of sons. But that is what motivates me every day to push harder, to be a better man, to be a better son, to be a better father. 
so that in the future, when I do decide to have children or a woman decides to get to bear me a child, we don't break up. We don't have divorce. We don't leave the world with nothing for our child. What motivates me is that I want to change myself and change the world. I want to change the world of people around me. You know, I I feel like I'm the only music artist in my apartment. I want to host a party for all of my, my, my neighbors. They fucking hear me rap and sing and talk these videos all fucking day and night. Why not give back to them as well? I don't even know them and they don't know me like that. Their motivation for me as well. You know, I I want for the next generation of music artists and the next generation of people, the little kids that run around all day at these parks and these playgrounds, I really want them to know that somebody else saw them for their struggle and for their pain. And whether or not they could vocalize it and, and actively recognize that they have problems when they grow up, I want them to know and look back at these videos and be like, yo, this guy was really going through some shit. We all go through shit. That's what motivates me. The fact that we all go through shit, but we should, all, we should grow through that shit as well. I'm not perfect. You know, this video is supposed to be about motivation. I don't sound like I'm motivated, but that's why I'm making this video. The supporters of the Fatal Family motivate me. I've never had a community where I actively felt like I took part in shit, but what I said mattered. You know, I, I, I want to change myself. Every day I wake up wanting to change myself. And I think that's what motivation is. Motivation is getting up and actively feeling the energy inside of your spirit that you just want to move. You want to push forward. You don't know where you're going to end up at. Not definitively. But just move. Just move. The first thing you have to do is move. Everything else comes after that. You know? Um... What motivates me is the fact that I have a father that's looking at me in heaven who I hope is proud of me. I hope so. Because I miss him a lot. I don't think my heart has ever actively sat down and really thought about the impact of not having him in my life really made for me mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. He wasn't perfect. He had his own issues. But who are we if we don't have issues? None of us are perfect. And that's what motivates me. To mold myself into a statue of a man that, while I do have chinks in my armor, I have scratches here and there. You may say some bruises, bruises in my, page, my pages. This story was a good story. It was a good story to write and it's a good story to read every day. What motivates me is knowing that I, I, I have no choice but to be better every day. When you think about it, you don't read a book that's boring. You don't read books that don't attach to you in some type of way. You don't read books that aren't controversial in some type of way. That's why they have To Kill a Mockingbird banned in Florida. And that's one of the best books that you could read. What motivates me is the fact that I have a brother and sister that look at me. I have a brother and sister I took care of my entire life. I have a mother that looks at me. Yeah, we're not perfect. Yeah, we argue, yeah, we fight. But that just shows me that I'm different. You're different. But let's love each other the same. Nothing, nothing really impacts in a good way if you stay negative. So that's what motivates me. What motivates me is to go against the grain of being negative and to stay positive. Yeah, I might complain for like five seconds. But I don't stay negative. Nah. Everything happens for a reason. What motivates me is 
knowing that the me that I was is not the same me that I am now. The me that was crying in that car when I first started this artist journey, when I first started doing these videos, the me that went back and forth to the studio to record, the me that was crying and feeling like I wanted to end this book early, sometimes it still comes back to me. Well, another thing that motivate another thing that motivates me is the friends that I lost to suicide. Like people I didn't even know like that, knowing that they took their life, because they couldn't be they couldn't find a way out of that darkness. I want to be the light that shines so that nobody else has to feel like that. What motivates me is the music artists that we already lost. Take off. P and B rock. Pop Smoke, who was only 21 years old when he lost his life. Nipsey. Pete. Mac Miller. When I heard Mac Miller cried, I, when I heard Mac Miller passed away, I literally cried because I just found out about him and his music career after listening to Donald Trump from years ago. I haven't listened to this man for years. And I heard that Swimming album and I just listened to every word and I was like, this man was drowning in something that nobody saw around him. That's what motivates me. I need to be the, the, music, the music artist that, that stays here and continues to change the world like they were trying to change the world. I almost cried. My heart, my heart tears. But that's what motivates me. The fact that I can't just do what I want sometimes and just stop everything. I could stop making these videos. I could stop recording music. I could stop waking up early, but I can't because I'm too motivated for a changed world. A changed me and a damn good book. My story is what motivates me and I'm sticking to it. I thank you guys for being here. My mom, my brother, my sister, I thank you guys for even having me in your life. My father, I thank you for making me. My son, I thank you for coming to this world. And although I couldn't give you a world that you could actually stay in, I'm glad that I met you. I miss you every single damn day, bro. I miss you every single fucking day, but you're, one, you're something that motivates me. You're someone that motivates me every day. You motivate me every day, Dad. I'm going to keep going. I'll never stop. No matter if they cut off my limbs, no matter if my voice is gone, no matter if I go blind, God forbid, I'll never stop. That's it for today's video. What makes you motivated to get up every day and live your life? Let me know in the comments. I thank you guys for being a part of the Fatal Family. Thank you guys for supporting me and listening to my music. Uh, like I said, my debut EP, well not debut, but my official debut EP, Fates Here, drops tonight at midnight. You guys can find that YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify. Fun fact, there's actually a song called Motivated on that, on that uh, EP. I think you should go listen to it when it drops. The next video we'll have, we'll talk about the exercise that we do every day. I say we because Elijah Fatal and Fatal Booker are actually two different people. My alter ego. The book, the hardcover, all alter egos. Maybe I am crazy. But aren't we all? Um... Yeah, like I said, the next video will be about the exercises I do every morning and why I do those exercises every morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, follow my social media. Like I said, Koji Link has everything you need about my life right there. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay great. And once again, it's Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.